Welcome to APA Citation Style, in-text citations in a micro minute, brought to you by the Learning Center at York County Community College. You use an in-text citation when you are writing a research paper, discussion board posts, or any form of writing where you need to support your thesis with some supportive evidence from another source. The in-text citation itself indicates to the reader that that is the information that is not your own. So if you're citing a source, meaning you're summarizing or paraphrasing somebody else's idea or directly quoting from a different source, then you need to provide an in-text citation. Also, you'd want to use an in-text citation when some information that you're using in your paper is not common knowledge. The in-text citations in general go at the end of your sentence, and it is closed with a period at the end of the sentence. So if you paraphrase from another source, your in-text citation or parenthetical citation goes in at the end of the sentence. If you use a direct quote, put the direct quote inside quotation marks and then include your in-text citation at the end. You can see that there's punctuation that is important for your in-text citations. Remember that if you're using an in-text citation inside the paper, it should match a reference that's listed in the sources in your reference page. The elements that go into parenthetical citation depend on one thing, whether you're citing a source or you're quoting directly from another source. If you're citing an idea, meaning you're summarizing or paraphrasing, the only elements that you need is the author, comma, and your publication. If you're using a direct quote, this is when you need to use a page number. So in your in-text citation, you use a, the author, year of publication, comma, period, sorry, P period, with the page number that you found the direct quote on. In some cases, you do not have a page number, and in that case, you just use, simply use the author, comma, year of publication. In other special cases where there's no author, include the title inside quotation marks, in the year of publication. If there's no date, you can use N period, D period to indicate that there is no date listed for that source. In general, you use whatever sources of elements that you have in order of APA citation style. If you need more help, the Library Learning Center and our APA citation guide are great resources for you at YCCC. In addition, the Purdue Online Writing Lab is available always online as a comprehensive source of information about citation style. If you're not at YCCC, please use your resources at your own campus. Feel free to share, post, and embed if you like this video. Thank you.